All right, so here we have the Kong cooler, Kong 50. Just got dropped off by the lovely UPS. Made in the USA. Let's cut this open and see what we got inside. came from Indiana, I believe. I've been tracking it. And tracking. It's been fun to watch it come across the US. Nice packing. The foam. I'm gonna do the blue wrap on the top of the scratches as well. cooler handles that everybody talks about actual handles not straps rope somehow oddly satisfying Great seal on the inside. And look at that. Came with a little Kong koozie, Kula koozie. You got the nice divider. It'll be set up with this kickstand on the side for cutting boards. What else we got in here? We've got our proudly made in the United States. Heart of ice. Scan that a little lighter. Pamphlet. Of course, gotta have a stick. All right. Well, it says it's 33 pounds, but honestly, it doesn't really feel that heavy to me. You've got your bear resistance sticker there. Solid. The drain hole, which was a selling point for me, and that it, it doesn't come out. It opens up, you can drain, but it doesn't fall out. It's the thing you always worry about. You got the no skid key here. Well, so one thing I noticed here, that I guess I didn't really see on any of the other videos or product images I've seen, or I just didn't pay attention. It's just like this protective coating here that's been put down in what would be considered definitely a high scratch surface area. So it'll be interesting to see how that ages over time and, and if I'm right in my assumption that it's a anti-scratch coating of some sort. I've got on the way the uh, biter which goes on the corner here which is a bottle opener. Got some kickstands coming as well as the cutting board that goes on top. And we'll be sure and post a video putting all that together. All in all, can't wait to get this thing full of ice and run it through the bases. <laughs> 